Thank you, what's up? Happy birthday, EA Sports! Welcome back to another video, guys. Actually, I said happy birthday to EA Sports, and look me what they got. Like 15 minutes after the promo started, like I was on my PS5 version, I said, "Look, my man, I'm gonna go to my PS4 version because it was like a week that I that I not logged into my PS4 account." And I said, "Maybe, maybe not. They're gonna give me, and they're gonna juice my pack lock." After two packs, guess what I pack? Nuno Mench, first starter on tradable, five star, four star, and right now he's going for 500k. Now we're in the first hour, maybe after two, three hours, he's gonna go to like let's say 300k. But he's a Portuguese guy, hype card, and I don't think that he's gonna go lower than that. I think there's a hype around him, and especially with that five star skill moves. I didn't actually saw the stats, so I'm gonna go look with you. Now pace, it's actually fantastic. You don't need to boost that. Shooting wise, nothing great. Passing for a left back, for a full back, it's amazing. He has the uh, 87 short passing with the 83 long passing, which is amazing. Now, look at that dribbling man, 94 agility with uh, alongside uh, 87 balance with some really high balance and uh, dribbling uh, stats. You know what I mean? Now, the defending part, again, very, very high defending capabilities, 90 interceptions. 91 stand tackling overall it's a, it is a great defensive capabilities and finally boys physical part 95 stamina which this player will last you all game long now he's very very meta with that five star skill moves high medium so this card is really looking sick no trade unfortunately now i don't know how i'm gonna fit him to my team maybe maybe i'll do this yeah i will do this so i can give him the 10 chemistry and with the 10 chemistry, I don't know which camp style to apply, to be honest. Now, I can go with the anchor, which I don't think it's necessary because he's already that fast. I don't think you're going to feel the boost on him. You can go with the uh, sentinel to boost that defending and physicality. Or there's a camp style that uh, boosts the dribbling and the defending. I think it's guardian, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, EA Sports is telling me to put the sentinel, but... I think the Guardian, uh, where is it? I think the Guardian makes a good boost to the dribbling part as well. But I think I'm gonna, s or maybe a backbone? No, let, let, let's put it Sentinel, why not? Let's put it Sentinel to boost the maximum of that defending. Look at that defending, man. He almost got 99 defending with, again, 91, uh, 90 aggression and 86 strength. So that's really, really impressive for a fullback. Now, the process, as, as I said, it's been like just an hour that it's coming around and he's around like, as I said, 500K, 600K, which is really, really expensive for a fullback. So without further ado, we're gonna jump in and uh, test this card out. But the only problem is that I have this Joao Cancelo and Joao Cancelo is that good that he can play in the midfield because he has that shooting capability, which Nuno Mendes does not have. So, in similar to Nuno Mench, the pace is the same, defending is the same, and the physicality is the same. But, uh, I mean, dribbling, maybe, but look at that Joao, uh, I mean, Joao Cancelo has significant more uh, dribbling stats on the reaction and uh, uh, ball control dribbling, and better shooting and passing. That's why you can play Joao Cancelo as a midfielder, which I'm doing so, but I don't think you can do the same with Nuno Mench. So I think Nino Mendes is purely a defensive player because of that poor shooting and average passing. So I think I'm gonna stick to a left wing. I mean, I, I mean left back. And we're gonna see what we can do, boys. Let's go and let's hop on to the review. Okay, let's go. So our first opponent has a really good team. Oh my God, I'm playing on a PS4 version. What a dumb bass, man. Nah, I forgot to. Go to the PS5 version, nah, L, we got the L, we got the L, GG's. No, no, come on my guy, come on my guy, let's go. Fuck me, then I am. No, no, manch, no, no, manch, easy my guy, easy. No, no, manch, come on, cover it back, look at the pace, the 95 pace of dreams, recover that, easy, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. No, no, manch. No, no, man! Fuck! Bullet him. He's gonna turn. I got it. I got it. I got it. 
Inner Manch. Easy boy. Let's activate the one two with Inner Manch. We create the run. Okay, Inner Manch. Grealish! See! Easy. Okay, guys, so with Nuno Manch. Now, I, I will say my opinion, boys. This is just my opinion. After playing like two, three more games after, and now I'm doing the post commentary to speak more like one to one, I think that Nuno Mendes is a good card, but I don't think that it's justified his price tag. Like, I don't think I will pay 500k for this card. Like, you need to remember that this is a PSG card, a Portuguese, a hyped out card, and it has the five star skill moves. So, I don't think that his hype and his stats deliver the price tag. I'm not saying he's a bad card. Obviously, he's a really, really good card, especially in the uh, in the league uh, where the fullbacks are lacking. But if I'm gonna uh, judge purely around stats, I don't think I will pay 500k for this card. I'll pay maybe 250, 300 max, like maximum. And I will prefer uh, Hakimi every single day uh, above this card. And I will even play Hakimi as my right or left back. Special that Hakimi has like three star Rukvid, uh, I mean. But I think still Hakimi is a better card in overall. And I think like the lane who is like, it's been two, three months around the card, is, has still the best potential. I don't think he's the best left back in the game. I think like uh, Tio Hernandez has a better potential as a left back. But I think this is a really solid card. But as you got my opinion, my option, like I will never pay 500k for his fullback. I think Joao Cancelo is far better card, and obviously Joao Cancelo is around 800k. But I think Joao Cancelo as a better round player is better. But if you pack this card, obviously like me, I will play, I will start him. But as I said, this is a good card, a great card. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that he's a bad card, I'm telling you this is a good card, but if you have the ability to pay him, pay him. But if you're keen on coins, if you don't have, if you don't have a lot of coins, I don't think uh, this card is worth 500k. So that's it, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to get this card, make sure to judge upon yourself, and I will see you on another video, man. Peace!